ओम लोकनाथ स्थिराकार राज मानव सदा मुनि कुलिकलम सुमग्ना नाम उत्तारण चिकित्सया माया शक्ति समावृत्त जो अवतीर्ण मही तले नमस्तु राम कृष्णाय तस्म श्री गुराब नम माई हम्बल सैल्यूटेशंस to the holy trials who are sitting here my respect to all the senior swamis love and best wishes to all monastic brothers today it is an important occasion we have come here and to celebrate this is the concluding function of the 125th anniversary of the ramakrishna mission sometimes people confuse what is ramakrishna mot and what is ramakrishna mission we should remember the ramakrishna mot was started on particular day when sri ramakrishna was staying at kashipur and passed away or you can say during his lifetime till the mission has been started the mot was there and the mission was added to the mot now the question is whether there is a directive from bhagwan sri ramakrishna that you should not be complacent with mot mot means but puja and celebrations and all that you must remember the my advent in this world is to spread out a mission and for that he had given his direct disciples specially swami vivekananda and he had to undertake that work and again and again repeatedly during his lifetime he had given that command that you are to do very big work and swami ji conquered the west and after coming to india he had got the earlier experience seeing the country the western countries that no great work can be achieved without organization he has understood that organization had got a special merit you can speak make long long lectures and classes but until and until you implement those ideas into action that is we call mission it will not have a everlasting effect swami ji in this feelings started the ramakrishna mission where the spirit of sri ramakrishna will slowly and slowly you will see it will be combined with the mission that is ramakrishna mission and ramakrishna mission and ramakrishna mot confusion is clear when you see with our distinct eyes that both are equally important in today's he thinking about sri ramakrishna's high pitch of ideas the vedanta the practical vedanta the day to day movement of the modern religion and the special type of discussions and work we have taken over the religion that has got a practical value in our day to day it is not only a theoretical that can be understood by the work of the mission swami vivekananda opened our eyes and showed us that you must take up this work and for this bhagwan sri ramakrishna came to this world there are earlier ages when lot of work has been done and you see in the name of religion we forget what is forgotten is that we have forgotten our country our motherland our own people our own neighbors so you are to serve them and the work of the mission is to come in close contact with your neighbors and other people not only in your own country but in other countries also so it is a blessings 
that Sri Ramakrishna had given that spirit to Swami Vivekananda. Shiva Gyane Jiva Shiva, which our earlier speakers have told. So this is an opportunity moment that we come here in this small house where Swami Vivekananda and all his brother disciples, monks and devotees, they assembled so many times and it is called the second parliament of Sri Ramakrishna. Devotees are coming one after another and discussing a lot of things. Belur Mott was not that time it was established. They are coming from their own house and they are discussing so many philosophical aspects. And these devotees, they got enlightenment. And the spirit of Sri Ramakrishna that is surcharging the whole of India and the other country slowly and surely. So this is an indication that we have crossed 125 milestones in our life. So we pray to Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna, Jagat Janani Sarada Devi, whose blessings are there with us, who has inspired the brother disciples, that it is not mere a monastic life that you have accepted that Sri Ramakrishna came, that you monks assembled and start a monastery. It is not for that. Some more work is to be done. And Holy Mother inspired the disciples, the brother disciples, the monastic children of Sri Ramakrishna. And so, her blessings are there. Every inch of this movement. So, these holy trials, along with their selfless efforts, and the disciples. Disciples means the one after another, the project disciples, generations of disciples. We are bound, we are actually taken the holy vows to translate our personal life and to develop the community, the, our brothers and other people. So that is called, we call Atmano Moksartam Jagadhita Echa, Swami Vivekananda proclaimed, what is the ideas and ideals of Ramakrishna Mott and mission for the monks and the devotees. Atmano Moksartam, all of you can understand, it is very, very important thing. All of you will appreciate, you must want that sort of development by which we know ourselves. We do not know what we are. You are to discover yourself. That is Atmano Moksartam. But that is not the only motto. Along with that, the motto of Jagadhita Yacha, the good of the world. So, you should combine these two. And Ramakrishna Mott is Atmano Moksartam and Jagadhita Cha is Ramakrishna mission. So, again and again we pray to Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother Sarada Devi and some Vivekananda and all other direct disciples who have passed away, who came here, their reminiscences are vibrating this particular Balaram Mandir. And all of you who are here, who are again and again going through their messages, we pray that let us recapitulate again and again and revive our spirit. Thank you all.